Fashionista. Yes, she is I. I am her. And you have arrived to Nista's Nation and over here we do mainly things fragrances. Today we are here to talk about my June fragrance purchases. So I purchased some fragrances last month in June and we're just going to get right into it. All right, so the first fragrance that I purchased I purchased it because I was on Instagram and a sale came up that it was 40% off. I went into the portal and I made a purchase. All right, so this purchase came from the House of Siage. The House of Siage is a niche brand company. They sell um, fragrances. They have recently launched candles. They have a beauty line. They have um, discovery sets that they sell. I think it's like a mystery vault or something that they call it. And you purchase these uh, mystery sets for affordable price, but they are pricey. And you get all this nice stuff in the box. They have purse sprays. They have exclusive promotions. I've seen videos where people did the exclusive promotions and they paid, um, they got like two for one. So they bought one fragrance, they got another one free, plus some purse sizes. So I know it is more of a pricier niche house. However, I do think that she does a really great job. A female owns this company. I want to say her name is, what's her name? Crystal? Let's see if her name is on this card. Now, I don't say see her name on this card, but she is a beautiful lady. But, um, so I think she has done really well. And this company has come, it has really grown since I first started purchasing from the company. I started during the pandemic. I think it was very, very popular during the pandemic because I would see all these beautiful um, perfumes. Um, and I'm like, oh my God, this is just epic. So I joined in... Um, I purchased my first one myself, my husband, and uh, my daughter got me another one for um, something some time ago, but I've had two of them over a year and a half, but um, I did purchase this one because it was on sale, and my cousin told me that I would like it, so I went ahead and purchased it. So the fragrance that I purchased is from... The House of Siage. All right, so this is my third fragrance from the House of Siage. The House of Siage, as I said, it is a niche house. It has one, two, three, four. It has like four or five different collections. You have the um, Whispers in the Garden collection. You have the limited edition collections, and that collection includes like the Mickey Mouse, the Batman, the Wonder Woman, which is one that I have, 1984. And you have your signature collection. You have the World of HOS. And they have this collection called the Trend. And um, this um, perfume here, it is from the signature collection. And the fragrance is... So when you open the box, I did put this back in the box. It's been open. You get this authentic authenticity card. If it's authenticity card, the light is washing it out. And it comes nicely packaged and it sits really nice inside of this slot this is your buffering cloth to clean your lid and this fragrance is love is in the air all right so let's talk about this fragrance I'm gonna share with you the inspiration behind the fragrance as well as some of the special editions of the fragrance um, the special highlights and of course, the fragrance notes. All right, so according to the House of Siage, and this came directly off of their site, the inspiration behind the fragrance is, this fragrance flirts delicately with sweet hints of jasmine, succulent plum, paired with the romantic and smooth essence of white musk. Perched over the fragrance are two silver lovebirds, which is known to sing beautifully and harm harmoniously 
songs of pure love. This fragrance fills the air with grace and tender affection and serves as a reminder that true love worth keeping should never be caged. I love that. All right, so the inspiration made me like the fragrance even more because it sounds like my love story. All right, so let's talk about the fragrance notes. Well, before we get into the fragrance notes, let's talk about what's on the outside of this bottle. So as you know, these are considered cupcakes. They call them cupcakes. She is definitely brilliant. The brain behind creating such a beautiful packaging for a female as gullible as myself when it comes to fragrance it's just epic because my thing is not only is um, it's beautiful just to have beautiful juice to spray onto your body beautiful fragrance to spray onto your body but to just have this as a piece of decor in your room it's just so elegant girly and sweet I really really like it so let's talk about some of the highlights that they mentioned on their site it says each signature fragrance contained the same extract de parfum as their limited edition counterparts. Each piece serves as a refill to the limited collection. Each, ca each cap is adorned with 158 Swarovski hand placed crystals. The signature collection allows the much sought after limited edition scents to be made available to a wider audience. All right, so this is a 2.4, I mean 2.5 full ounce bottle. Um, Love is in the air is considered to be a fruity floral and in my opinion it's a deep fruit. What's in this deep fruity floral? All right, so the notes are top notes, plum, black currant. Heart notes, jasmine, cedarwood. Base notes, patchouli and musk. Because it's not your very airy, deep fragrance. However, I do think that the fragrance is nice enough to wear at any part, any time during the year, in my opinion. Um, it was created in 2012. And this is Love is in the Air by the House of Siage. All right, so the next fragrances that I purchased, I purchased them from the House of Bun. And those of you who know me, I am completely enamored by the House of Bun number nine. I have a whole collection. All right, so um, I purchased this offline. I think that this was a excellent deal. Now, it's excellent if you are like me. I'm kind of anal when it comes to bun number nine i'm going to either purchase it from website the bun website Saks Fifth avenue or i will purchase from this upscale boutique that we have in our town so because i only purchase my buns from those particular places this was a great deal for me because each one of the fragrances in this trio they retail for two 95 you can go on bun number nine right now or sex fifth avenue right now and these retail for 295 dollars so if you take 295 dollars and multiply that times two that's 590 dollars if i could get what i want and another one for 110 dollars less that's a dynamic deal for me so it comes in this plastic sleeve. This is the Lux Trio, the women's Lux Trio. Larice has put together some very nice trio sets online. And um, they're just nice. I really appreciate her for doing this because there was a time that you go in there, you get your bottle of bun. They were not as pricey. When I first started purchasing bun, bun number nine for the 1.7 bottle, they were $205. So they have increased. They do have some that are cheaper. You know, some of the older ones, you can get them for like $240, $250 on the bond site or in sacks if they still have them. Okay, so I do have a history with all three of these fragrances, the Greenwich Village, the Tribeca, and the Nolita. They were not blind buys. So let's just get right into the content. Let's talk about the fragrances. All right, so... Let me pull my little phone out. All right, so we're going to start from um, 
left to right. So the left fragrance with the lipsticks, which so, so beautiful. I do have that also in candle form. Nolita. Nolita is a floral woody musk fragrance. It was released in 2017. The top fragrance notes are tangerine, freesia. The heart notes are lily, rose, jasmine, sambok, one of my favorites. And the base notes are musk, amber, and sandalwood. All right, so the inspiration according to bond number nine uh, for Nolita is the neighborhood that begins just across Houston Street, two blocks south of us, has become a millennial's favorite and the hottest of downtown's hotspots. So if you didn't know, and I'm going to try to find it, and when I find it, I'm going to post it on my Insta story. But um, bun number nine, the ideology behind the fragrance house is that it's like trying to capture each monumental area in the city of New York inside of a bottle. So Nolita, Tribeca, Greenwich Village, Bryant Park, um, Coney Island, all of those fragrances, they are you know, encompassed or they are a part of New York. So that's the inspiration behind them collectively. But, you know, each fragrance has its own inspiration. All right, so that was the Nolita. The fragrance notes in Nolita are tangerine, freesia, lilies, rose, jasmine, sambok, soft amber, musk, and sandalwood. It must note right on time all right so next up next. is Tribeca Tribeca is a amber vanilla it was released in 2020 the fragrance notes in Tribeca are cacao absolute green hazelnut jasmine sambok absolute cedarwood and broxen moss and caramel all right so the next one up in my camera's washing it out. It's Tribeca. Tribeca is having a moment. Meet the chic new fragrance that tells its story. The style is sexy, unisex. Florento, that's sophisticated and young, much like the residents of Tribeca. All right, so this is the Tribeca. Now, I got some serious commentary coming behind Tribeca and Greenwich Village because if you know what I'm hitting on, you know what I'm hitting on. But I got to put my little two cents in. All right, so the next fragrance, of course, is Greenwich Village. Greenwich Village is an amber floral. It was released 2019. So the inspiration behind Greenwich Village with Greenwich Village, bun number nine brilliantly captures one of New York's most beloved neighborhoods in, the, in a scent. It is a celebration of individuality and creativity and the rich heritage of the city's artist and intelligentsias, that's a weird word, and the community they created. The results is an oriental vanilla with a touch of light floracy. The fragrance notes in Greenwich Village are cassis, liche, mandarin, peony, water lily, patchouli, jasmine petals, ambrox, peach musk, vanilla, oak moss, and praline. Greenwich Village. If you know, you know. This is a good fragrance. I mean, you know, there are fragrances that really just have you in a zone and it elevates your mood. If I had to pick only one fragrance to rely on it and trust it to just keep me in a mood of solidarity, just confidence, um, intelligence, just beauty, it would be the Greenwich Village. 
So you guys, what I do like and have always appreciated with bun number nine, and this is what segued way me into the world of essential oils. Because I'm one of these type of people when something just totally intrigues me, even a person, I have to understand almost the soul of it. And this is not human, but I just feel like I got to understand the core of it. So that put me on a trajectory to learn more about different essential oils. Because basically that's all fragrance is. It's just compressed oils from God's giving. You know, flowers, nature. You know, there are some synthetics out there. But truly, that's what fragrances are. Fruits, flowers, all of that. So that put me in a zone to start researching because I just became too enamored by this fragrance. I don't know if it was just the era in my life that I was going through, you know, and I just needed some support from all areas, even the fragrance that I spray on in the morning. I can't really put my hand on it. But needless to say, if you ever get into the world of bun, I definitely, and I say this all the time, there's somebody, there's a fragrance for everybody in the world of bun. Give it a chance. So, we're done with that part. I'm talking too much. Now, as a part of that, if you purchased, if you made a $400 purchase, they did give you this little gift, which is awesome. You got this little gift. And in this gift, they gave me three purse sizes with caps. It used to be a time the purse sizes didn't come with caps. See, I've been doing this a long time. So they didn't come with caps, but now they do come with caps. I remember if there was a time, you know how you get some fragrances with the samples and it has the itemizer on it? Bun number nine was not originally like that. It was like everyone else with the little pop cap with the little string in it. It used to be like that. Now they always had that pretty presentation in the candy wrappers, but they did not always provide itemizers on their samples. But this is the purse size. And those of you, whenever you purchase a bun number nine, there should be a card in your box. Normally, um, they used to have this perfume club and actually the ones that they send you from the perfume club, they're, at, they're larger than this. Um, and what they do, they send you out samples of upcoming or new fragrances, but I haven't done that in so long. I don't even know if it's still um, a part of their amenities. But this is Lafayette Street. So Lafayette Street came in here. B9. And of course, Greenwich Village. So <laughs> all three of those was just a gift for spending a certain dollar amount. And always know whenever you go to a delegated retailer, meaning Saks, um, Neiman, the bun store, um, my perfume little, um, <laughs> boutique it is part of their policy that you get three samples three samples now if you're going in store and you have an essay that just totally loves you she'll probably give you 20 but <laughs> you get to pick three online so what I picked was and this is a good fragrance here I don't have well I did have it but I don't have it anymore it's Astral Place that's a really pretty one I don't have this. This is the Centerpiece Natural. And this is the Centerpiece Regular for Women. I've had probably 10 to 12 bottles of this Centerpiece. But if you have been following me, you know why I don't buy Centerpiece. Because someone in my house will not let me be great with it. And I don't want to be fussing and carrying on about my things all right so i want to thank you guys for coming back to the channel i have already started purchasing fragrance in july but um i'm strongly considering going on a no buy because i feel like my content it gets stagnated because i'm constantly buying things and it's like you kind of like share that information so i really just need to hone in on the oh so many fragrances that i have and 
my fragrance collection to really just push that creativity out of myself because it's easy to buy something, come on camera, talk about it, tell the fragrance notes and all of that. But when you go back and you really think about what you have that you've probably forgotten about, it really pushed that creativity button. And I think that's what I need to start doing. So I want to thank you guys for coming back to the channel. Please leave any comments below if you are a Bun fan, if you're a House of Siage fan. Please leave some of your favorites. And I will see you guys in the next video video and do not forget you yes you you are great bye bye